Welcome to another episode of SG Crypto. We're going to go through quickly um, both Bifrost and MetaMask, how to set up the cost and test network on your wallet, for your wallet, both Bifrost and MetaMask. Super simple for Bifrost, super simple for both really, but much quicker in Bifrost. So, And the reason we're doing this is so we can start minting on flare drops and start minting NFTs for free, with a, or not for free, using the tokens um the token specific to the cost and test net which i'll show you how to get those as well and you'll be able to do this mint them without writing any code at all super easy and let's go through it all so first we're going to do bifrost this is my main one the wallet i use for flare really uh, i do use one for MetaMask as well, but that is through, I really do that only for the Cooties NFTs. So right out the gate, I guess just to describe what I'm doing here, <clears throat> you're right here on the main screen. You're going to go over to settings and click on advanced down there, click on developer mode, enable. And then right here, you're going to see cost in. So we know it is, see down on this as you scroll down, you can see all these different networks that this is connected to and compatible with. So now that it's turned on, we're all set. And then if you come back to your wallet, you're gonna see that you have zero tokens. So now that we're on testnet, you're not gonna see any of your other tokens like your your Flare, XFi, SFIN, whatever you had, you're not gonna see it anymore. But now that that's done, that's all you really had, that's all you had to do <laughs> to, to set up this wallet for the cost and testnet. Uh, but now we're gonna to receive tokens. So to get those, you're gonna click receive you're going to click down here on the C flare. You're going to tap to copy the address. Then you're go, gonna go over to your web address or your web search, whatever you do use. You're gonna type in this URL here, the faucet.toolabs.com. I'll leave it that link in the description. And all you do is just paste the address we copied earlier. Request C flare. Boom, it's done sent 100 C flare to my address. And then they say you can only do it once every 24 hours. Yeah, see, so tomorrow at 6.50 p.m. Central Time, I'll be able to do it again. Uh, and you can just keep doing this over and over again to start minting NFTs and really just testing the system, making sure everything's working properly. That's why they're doing this. It's something they did mention in this article, which I'll also link, and we'll go through maybe a little bit in, in a second, is that there's like really a three-step process for Songbird and for the Flare ecosystem. So Flare Finance's development cycle is what we'll call it. It can be summarized in three steps. And firstly, that is the development on the cost and test net, which is what we're doing now. Prior to it going on Songbird, you know, a year ago, year and a half ago when this thing first launched, it was on the cost and test net and people were essentially farming and staking their coins and all that stuff going through every step of it so the cost and test net is first which i that's something new i learned today um then second is the staging on the songbird network which is what we're doing right now with flare farms uh, flare x flare loans so those have already passed the cost and test net stage and now they've moved on to the second stage which is state or songbird network uh, and then finally is the production on flare network so we haven't gotten there yet we have for some, you know, as we, as we've seen that Flare has launched, but only in that, that testing phase for the developers. But yeah, so that's all you have to do for the Bifrost wallet. Super easy. And now that we see we have our cost in our C Flare, let's go over to this. I already have it bookmarked. It's Flare Drops. I'll leave the link to this site in the description. We're just gonna connect. It's costin.drops.flare.finance. So I'll leave that in the description as well just to make it easy for you but yeah and then you'll see you can scroll down you can see all of these it's my favorite collection right there yeah basically yeah so you can start purchasing you can get creative you can start minting and yeah that's really it um now i'm going to I'm going to switch to my desktop and I will show you, for those of you who are using MetaMask, I'll show you how to utilize that. 
Then on MetaMask, it's pretty simple as well. So I already signed into the. Again, you'd come to cost and drops flare finance. It'll be in the description, as I said. But um, yeah, basically, I already connected my wallet. But if you don't have it, the network already on your wallet. All you have to do is click switch switch to cost and testnet up here at the top. Um, on the right side, there will be a window here that pops up. You, I don't believe you can see it. You'll just click approve, switch network, just follow the prompts, and then boom, it's done. Um, in the article, they made it seem a little bit more complicated than it has to be. Like, let me show you. Like they were saying, go to your settings, select networks. Like, this is a way you can do it for sure. Um, and I've done this in the past with other networks that you have to do it this way, but this is the, by far the easiest way to do it the way I just did it. That way they just import all the information directly into your wallet. So something like a little trick you could actually do is just keep making fake accounts um, because as we know, actually let's do that quick. So now we want to get our C flare and our MetaMask. So our C flare right here, right? So let's copy that address to the clipboard. You just simply go into your MetaMask. You're not going to be able to see my windows that are popping up here on the side. That's right here where my mouse is circling. You're just going to copy that or paste that. Request C-Flare. Make sure I got it. Boom, I got it. So just like that. Now what I was saying is you can just keep making fake accounts and request that C-Flare. You can make like 10 accounts and take a thousand a day, take a thousand C flare and just send that other 900 to your main account. So then you have a thousand C flare in one account. You know, that'd be a way you could do it just so you could start minting more and start buying more if that's what you're interested, interested in. So that's going to be it. Super easy, super simple to do. All the links in the description. And if any, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know.